Let's explain how to open two different instances of the editor for our project. In order to do that, you have to go to the folders in which you are working and copy the complete folder to another file. You can leave it like copy. Like, like that, you will be able to identify it really easy. Then you open both of those projects in different editors and you are able to test it in your PC. So if you hit play in one of them and you hit play in another one and you are connecting to the room manually and you do the same for the other player, you should see the interaction between one game and another one. Okay, so in fact, if we zoom, we have one player that is being instantiated here that is going to be the player one, in this case it's 75 player 14 and the other player is going to be this second player here that is going to be called 50 player 55. The names are random but now I'm moving one of the players in order to meet the other one. Okay, I'm almost there. And now we should see each other. That is the case. Okay, so now we have one player here and one player there. If I rotate my head, you will be able to see that the head rotation is working properly. Same happens with the hands. If I change the position of the hand uh, inside my player avatar, that is this one here, and I change the position of my hand, you will see that it's updated in the other player. Let's see if we can do it properly. To the player controller and inside hand right. Okay, and we move it around. You see that the weapon moves in the other part of the game. You can rotate it facing towards the other player, etc. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot one of the players and kill. And you can see that the killing message appears in the other player's uh, information. And the score should be updated and the effect you can see that uh, it's effectively updated. This is how you can debug values in one PC without using the Oculus Quests.